one of India's most established photographers who shot across categories like advertising and automobiles to food photography and portraits. Famed for his exhibitions based on his travels and his theme-based calendars for ICC and Incredible India, Ritam is also globally represented by Getty Images. Here we go in for a design dialogue with Ritam Banerjee. I wanted to become a photographer because uh, from childhood I had been seeing my father doing photography. I mean, he used to do it as uh, you know as a hobby. He was a serious hobbyist. So I used to see those expensive cameras lying with him. I used to wish that someday maybe I will have one of those cameras of my own. So that must have been the triggering uh, you know in the subconscious uh, uh, mind of mine. And then one day I decided to take a plunge. And uh, uh, being from a humble middle class background and like. During my time, though it's not from Jurassic Age, though, but still, uh, you know, it was like photography was not perceived as a profession which would uh, get you a livelihood, you know, uh, so easily. You know, if it clicks, it clicks. If it doesn't click, it doesn't click. So what happens if it doesn't click? So, being uh, the parents that they are, pe people always wanted their kids to uh, have a stable, secure job and whatever. So photography was not one of those options at that point of time. So then it so happened that uh, I took up physics, you know, just to keep everybody, especially my parents, neighbors happy because they were more concerned better engineer, banega, doctor, banega, ya kuch bhi nahi banega. so physics was basically one middle path I took just to keep them happy. Okay, and uh, I pursued photography. My father always used to say that if you want something, you have to earn it. So when we were kids, we had to earn it through marks. Achha marks laya to ye milega, cycle milega and so on and so forth. So my first camera came when I when I scored really uh, decently, which is still a university record, 97% in my first year. So so that was basically when I got my first camera. In the meantime, I used to beg borrow steel cameras from friends and and those days we used to have the film rolls. So it was pretty expensive to you know process them and buy them and all of that. So we didn't have that kind of money. We had a little little pocket money here and there. So we had to manage with that. So eventually I got a camera. Uh, started taking pictures and uh, I started shooting for uh, Times of India. I was lucky that people in Times of India, you know, gave me a chance to start shooting, which was in Pune. I was from Ferguson College. So that's how it started and then I graduated to uh, working for a magazine called Better Photography, which picked me up from my campus and, uh, and then I realized one day that, uh, you know, desk job is not my thing. I had to get out and take more pictures. And I quit my job and I started becoming a photographer full time. And uh, as luck would have it, uh, I have managed to still take pictures and uh, live a decent life. Well, uh, initially it was beggars can't be choosers. Whatever came my way, I had to do it well. With time, the only thing that happened was, you know, the vocabulary improved. So instead of beggars can't be choosers, people started calling me versatile. It's the same thing. <laughs> so, so, so the story remains that whatever you do, you do it well and uh, things just fall into place. So I luckily got a chance to dabble in almost from ketchups to cars. I have shot them everything in between, like from fashion to advertising to editorial to interior architecture to industrial to automobiles to food. and. I've just been lucky and everybody's been just kind. So just things started coming in and I just get bored of doing the same thing over and over again. So if I get a variety of things to do, it's, it's more fun, is it not? And mostly uh, you people used to say that it is very difficult to have this kind of a portfolio or you should not do something like this because it's the, it's the age of being super specialized. I said, why not uh, specialize in taking good pictures rather than talking about specializing in fashion photography and so on and so forth. So I just thought of uh, doing just that and I still do that and luckily uh, it gives me a wider canvas to uh, play with. Awesome! Everybody is becoming a photographer which is a great thing to do. Because uh, when I started out and when I said I wanted to become a photographer, my family and friends said, I'm a photographer, banega, what will you do? Passport ka dukaan lagayega? And it was not looked, uh, it was very looked down upon rather than, you know, it was giving, because very few people could become the likes of, uh, let's say, uh, Gautam Rajat Deaksh or you know, and Ashok Salian at that time, you know, it was very difficult to reach the pinnacle, you know. So, uh, 
when I decided to take up this, uh, people were skeptical. But today, photography is the in thing. It's it's so, so hip and so glamorous and 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 oh, I'm a photographer. So it's 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 fun, is it not? So which which basically because the the medium has become easy and accessible to most people, people have started liking it all the more. Because it, when it was earlier, it was it was difficult to understand. It looked like a very difficult thing to do. Now it's an easy thing, so it's a fun thing to do. So it has it has been accepted more. Things that are easily uh, understandable uh, are are accepted much much more. So you sh it's simple to be difficult, difficult to be simple. So photography has become very simple now, and which is why it has become more popular, and which has helped us to uh, uh, you know uh, present ourselves as photographers much better than it was before. And uh, I see there is no competition because if you are good at your job, you will find a way. Like for example, the biggest example is Sachin Tendulkar. We have all 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 in our lifetime as Indians have played cricket, but how many of us have become Sachin? So it doesn't matter who takes pictures. If you are good, you will get there. First thing when people obviously ask about, you know, people are skeptical about the lighting setup and studio and all that. That is something which scares most of the people most of the time. I find, but uh, I I believe in the concept of common sense lighting. If I talk about Rembrandt lighting, butterfly lighting, and this and that, you know, you you tend to give big jargons to people and scare them away. But if you tell them, just just be a good observer, look what is around, see where the light is coming from, and you just replicate it in your studio, you will get the same feel which you would get otherwise in a real life setting. So that's exactly what I do when I when I when I work on on setting up artificial uh, lights within a studio setup. I I do not do anything beyond that. Uh, and to do that, what I always also keep in mind are two things. One is what is the purpose of doing it and what feel it is going to create. Like for example, am I doing it to create an idea or am I doing it to sell a product? Am I doing it to sell a lifestyle? Am I doing it to just you know satisfy my artistic uh, interests? What is the purpose of doing this? And what is the, the, the feel that I would like the audience to have or experience when, when, when they see this work? I mean, I, do I want them to be happy? Do I want them to uh, aspire to have something like this with them? Or do I want them to feel you know, concerned about a social cause? So what is the idea and what is the purpose? These are the two things that I always look for before I take a picture. Uh, I mean, while I work on a picture, uh, I don't mind, but I I don't uh, feel the need for it uh, because when with technology, uh, it makes life easier. Why do you want to complicate it? Yeah, for for the pleasure of it, just for fun, you want to go back to your good old days and and just to you know have a recap of what you used to do earlier. Yes, it's it's once in a while it's fine, but. Uh, when technology is helping you to make things easier and and uh, and your efficiency is increasing, why why do you want to invest more time uh, in in just hanging into something which is uh, not so easily available or accessible as it used to be earlier? So uh, I'm not that I'm against films, but uh, I don't have access to it as easily as I used to. So I'm happy with what it is. I look for uh, the way they have approached the subject. It's it's uh, everybody has has their experiences, their ideas, and their opinions about certain things. So even if I have two photographers, including myself, shooting the same subject, we would approach it very differently because of the background and the experience and the expertise that we have come with. So it is not the camera; it is the eye behind the camera which takes the picture, and that is what I strive to look for in the work that other people do. And uh, and that that inspires me and and uh, takes helps me. It doesn't matter who is big or small. It it never 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 matters. It is what is good or better. That's what I look for. Camera. <laughs> you know, I I I also all, all I already mentioned. It is not the camera that takes the picture. It's the eye behind the camera that does. You come up with an idea. You gather the resources, and shoot. So it also depends on the purpose, the usage. I mean, what is the usage of the picture that you are shooting? Is it for an Instagram or is it for a billboard? So if it's for an Instagram, how does it matter what camera you are using? Okay. So, so it, it's, it's all very relative. It, these are not things that should scare people away. Or I do not have this equipment. What can I do? Today, it is not the equipment. It is just the idea which, which takes you forward. You may not have the resources, but if you have the idea which is strong enough, you will get the resources. I love a movie called The Three Idiots because 
one of the characters which was of Madhavan quite like uh, mine you know uh, because I had my uh, uh, joint entrance which is the medical engineering exam the night before that we were having dinner together my family my father my mom and my sister and myself and that night we had a Mahabharata at home because I said I'm not going for the exams tomorrow because if I clear it I might end up becoming an engineer which I don't want to become <laughs> so from that movie three idiots I realized that uh, Kabil bano kamyabi jhakmara ke piche aegi. So if you work towards your skill sets and you develop and work on them and, and keep it going, the rest follows. Money, success, whatever, that you cannot calculate and that is very relative. What might be success for you may not be success for someone else. So those are parameters which you cannot calculate. But what you can calculate, what you can work towards is what you do and do it better than anybody else did. Do better yourself every single day of your life in whatever way you can. And that's about it. Rest will follow. Banana Bandy rocks. Uh, it's a wonderful platform for young and old who are just creative or just love to be mad. This is the place to be. Have fun. Banana Bandy has been kind enough to have me in the jury of the design mela that they are organizing shortly. Uh, I, I feel very, very lucky and I look forward to seeing awesome creative stuff coming my way which will inspire me and maybe help me to dream for bigger and better things uh, in the future for Indian design, art and creativity. <laughs>